Hi, you guys. I'm back. This is week two of our um, Back to the Basics series, and um, I will link to week one up here. Um, if you haven't seen that, what we're going to do is we're going to go from very basic uh, first steps in our mixed media projects all the way to the end, and we're going to do just a small step every week. So this is uh, step two, and these are the pieces that we did so far in step one. We just put down our backgrounds here. Now we're going to um, push those backgrounds uh, to the back so they're not so crazy, crazy staring at us because these are quite busy right now. So I'm going to do that with gesso and I'm going to do, do it three different ways. So this first one, I'm going to do it um, with a palette knife and then you can use all different kinds of gesso. I have just uh, acrylic gesso um, in white. Um, and this is by Liquitex, it's a basic one. I have a Liquitex super heavy gesso. And then we also could use a black gesso if we wanted to. I'm gonna stick with the white. And on this one here, I'm actually going to use my super heavy gesso. And we're just going to um, go ahead with a palette knife. I put it on the back of my knife like this. And I'm just going to move some things out of the way. I'm going to just kind of skip it on with my palette knife. And get it until I like it. Now, no rhyme, no reason. Um, well, of course, as we're pushing this background to the back so it's not so in your face, right? So, um... This is just how I go ahead and do it. And then next week, we're going to work with some texture and dimension. And that will be our week three. Now, this is looking pretty darn cool to me. Um, you can always now, if you've covered up too much, use a damp towel and just wipe off what you don't wand on there. I am just going to lift a few things and go back and get it the way I want. I don't know why, but this chapter 74 is always popping out and I and I kind of want that. And I do want these colors here. So you get it the way you want and then you set it aside and we will go on to the next okay so there's that one we'll go on to the next I kind of have a mess going on here I'm trying to find a towel here this will work now I'm going to use my regular gesso and I'm going to use a brayer on this one, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that open. Put some on my craft sheet here. I'm going to load up my brayer with my brush. Just like this and gently go across the piece. This one has a lot going on in the background here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that gesso. And you just do it until you get it the way you like it. This is your art. This is how you want to do it. And um, let me know in comments below if anyone is going ahead and doing this um, little series with me. I think it would be very fun. Now, 
I like that. And in the back of my mind now, I'm thinking about the next step. I'm kind of thinking about what I want to use for focal points. So kind of start thinking about that if you're working with me together. Okay, and then this last one, I'm just going to use uh, my brush. I'm going to use regular gesso. My brush here um, is pretty dry, and I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And of course, we're going to let them dry, and we'll come back to them. And next week on Thursday will be another section of this series. Like I said, these are going to go real quick and easy. Gives you time to work along with me if you want. I like it just like that. So how easy? You can do this. You can do this. Um, get out your gesso, get out your tools that you want to use, and go ahead and push those backgrounds to the back. We'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, get some substrates out. Do your collage, do your backgrounds, and then push it back to the back. And we'll see you next week, and we'll keep building on this. All right? Have a good week. Thanks. Bye.